Hello everyone. In this new series of tutorials for AI video model, we're going to talk about Hunyuan video, how to use LoRa models in Hunyuan video without installing any additional custom nodes in Comfy UI. Basically, you can use the Hunyuan video models in the Load Diffusion node. By the way, new year, new style, I am creating a new series of tutorials for open source AI video animations in this channel. Please do subscribe to this channel and more tutorial contents will be update on here. Right here we have the model sampling, which I've talked about on my main channel previously. It's using the model sampling SD3 and using the shift 7 and the flux guidance for the positive prompts with the guidance number set to 6. After that, we can use either the LoRa models only custom nodes or the LoRa nodes. You can also use the load LoRa, which allows you to connect the clip loader and the model data together, passing them into the LoRa. But for basic running of the LoRa models, we can just pass the model's data, the purple dot here, to the LoRa loader model only nodes. As you can see, I've created a Hunyuan video subfolder for my LoRa folder. Where do you put that? Well, go to your Comfy UI where you have the files folder. You'll save the LoRa model files in the models folder, then scroll down to find the LoRa subfolder. Right here, we can click into this folder. As you can see, I have other types of LoRa model files here, and I've created subfolders to more easily manage what I have for the Hunyuan video LoRa. In here, I've downloaded some anime styles and character trained LoRa models for Hunyuan video, as well as some NSFW LoRa models, which you can find on civitai.com. You'll notice some blurred images that I've filtered because YouTube doesn't allow us to show NSFW content here. We have to keep within those rules. As you can see, there are some LoRa models trained for different character styles and they look so realistic. There are also models trained for specific people using their faces, just like in Flux. You can train Flux models focusing on a character or certain styles. For example, we have anime styles where we can train a specific character within that style, like this one that looks hyper-realistic 3D. While this yellow tank top woman isn't too realistic, it shows how you can train for a specific character, and there are all kinds of cosplay character outfits you can train with Laura as well. And there are some NSFW LoRa models that, you know, use certain sexual motions or scenes to create such LoRa in Civitai AI. But we'll try some safe ones that we can show publicly on YouTube. So, what I did first was come back to Comfy UI. After you download the model files into the subfolder I mentioned earlier, you can search in your LoRa loader. Come here, and you can type in Hunyuan Video as the keyword to easily filter and see all your downloaded models. For example, I have this Hunyuan VV LoRa model that's for a specific character I just downloaded from this page. As you can see, it's really cool, specifically trained with styles for an Asian character. For Hunyuan video, some models don't even need trigger words to generate videos, which is really convenient for people. That's just how it works for some AI video models. It's not always going to be the same as image diffusion models. This LoRa has some specifications, as you can see. You can use Step 8 because it's using fast videos, and you can run it using FlowShift 13 to get the best output results. The shift comes from here, this model sampling SD3 shift where we're using 7 by default for the base model. We can follow the instructions here, set it to 13, and run this with fast videos. In my situation, I've got both the fast videos and the 720p resolution Hunyuan video model. If I want to use the original 720p models and the fast models, as I explained in my previous videos, we have the fast videos LoRa for Hunyuan video. To use both LoRa's, we can connect them like this. At the beginning of the connections, we bring the model sampling SD3 output connected to the LoRa loader that's loading the fast videos LoRa, then connect its output to this VVI character model LoRa files. Once done, both LoRa models will be loaded when we generate videos. Since we've enabled the fast videos LoRa, we can set the sampling steps very low. It won't be a problem. We set it to eight steps, which is ideal for running fast videos in Hunyuan video. As I mentioned in my previous workflow, I also did the same simple upscale or used Flux for ultimate SD upscale, added sound effects, and in recent videos, I talked about lip sync. You can check out my other videos on my main channel where I discuss all these frameworks, but I don't need to run those right now so I can bypass them. I don't need to upscale. I just want to test the output from this text to video output. 
right here, we also have the image to text using the Florence 2 model loader to create a caption for the text input prompts. Let's not use that. Instead, we'll use Vivi as the style and just use normal text prompts here. Let's wait for the result and see how it goes with this Laura and how the character will have style similarities with what's showcased on Civitai.com. For these first examples, I'm using similar text prompts as the example shown here, but I changed the location to France, Paris because, well, I like it. The text prompts are a bit longer than usual, but it's fine. We can still see that Hunyuan Video follows the text prompts really well. The prompt instruction following is quite good. Even though I'm using the fast videos, it's still able to follow all my requirements here. We've got France. Paris, and all the elements of the character, including the shoulders, etc. The lady is holding a camera for a selfie. So while it's not going to be exactly the same as what we saw on the demo page in the Laura model page, we can see the similarities in all the character elements, including the light blue dress. And of course, the background looks like Paris. That's from me. I added that in the text prompts. But see how nice this is using such small sampling steps, only eight steps. And we're able to use two Lauras here without any problems. The generation time is pretty fast, actually. This one took just 16 seconds to generate, and it looks pretty nice. If I upscale it, it can fix some pixel blurring and make it sharper. It's able to do that as well. And here's the second example. This is amazing. You can see the face is very clear and beautiful, and behind her is like a party nightclub, which I prompted in the text. Everything follows my text prompts here, and again, we're getting the young Asian woman style from the Laura models. We have that similarity. I was inspired by these examples from the showcase of this Laura model, but I modified the background, outfit, and camera angle to get a close-up shot of the lady smiling, you know, creating a cheerful, happy atmosphere in the videos. I'm kind of surprised by how nice the performance is using the fast videos, even though I'm using just 8 steps here, it's still able to achieve a very similar quality to what I get without using the fast videos, Laura. So let's say I'm going to bypass this one so we won't have fast videos, Laura, enabled. And of course, for the steps here, we have to go back to, you know, 20 or 30. Let's give it a middle ground, 25 here, and we can try it without the fast videos. Of course, the generation time is going to take longer. But right now, I want to focus on and see the quality of the videos. Here's another result without the fast videos. Even with turning off the fast video, setting it to 25 steps, and just relying on the base model, base model itself, to take 25 steps to generate videos, you'll see it's kind of blurry. Not just the background and people, but the main character itself is getting somewhat blurry and pixelated in the details. However, the prompt instruction following is actually better than with fast videos Laura enabled. As you can see here, I got this text prompt in the nightclub where the girl smiles, turns around, and then does a hair flick, and it can execute exactly the actions I required in the text prompts. Let's say I want to turn it to 50 steps, because I want to see if my NVIDIA 4090 can handle this limit and whether it can get better quality. So we'll wait and see the next round of video results. Okay, so we got the 50 sampling steps running and generated. This result is looking way better than what we had at 25 steps. And of course, without the fast videos, we have to turn the sampling steps back to normal and even higher for generating good quality videos. Why am I testing at 50? Well, back when I first tested Hanyuan Video on the server-side H100 GPU, I found that within the range of 50 to 100 steps, we were able to produce really good quality video results. So 50 has become like a mark or baseline for me to boost up to high quality, like a benchmark for using Hanyuan Video. When I want high quality output, I'll start from 50 and go up to 60. That's mostly the range I generate for, even if I have to spend more time waiting for generations. But it's worth it for 50 to 60 sampling steps without fast videos LoRa. So this is how it works using the LoRa for fast videos. We also got very good styles from the VV LoRa models that focus more on Asian females, which can generate content like this in these AI models. You can try that out in Civitai AI. There's a lot more there. And you know, in our Discord server, we've discussed about adult content 
poses, or motion movements, you're able to use those LORAs as well. And I think there will be an easier way to create LORAs for specific actions in Hunyuan video, much easier than with other open source AI video models that we had previously. So I think this year with Hunyuan video, or maybe later at the end of this year, we might see something cool from Tencent. Hopefully they're going to release the image to video model where we can test and input whatever image we want for the start frame. That would be way better. Yep. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.